Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading, a you and them love reading. This will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have a connection in mind for Capricorn. We're going to be looking at your person's uh, true feelings towards you, what they think about you, and vice versa, what you think about them. We'll be looking at what's going on in your connection at this time and potential outcome. And then the extended, we're going to be looking a little bit further into their true intentions, what you need to know about the connection, what's challenging or blocking the connection, and any advice from spirit. So we have a corn. Wow, we got one already. I was thinking about you and Scorpion came out, so I'm gonna take it. Capricorn. Very fiery energy there with the Scorpion. The first thing I thought of was watch out, watch out. <laughs> watch out, and I'm not sure if this is like you warning yourself about this other person or this other person needing to watch their back. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What are their thoughts or feelings in this connection? What energy are they bringing to this connection at this time? Okay, so your person's wondering if something's too good to be true. Sorry about the background noise. My two dogs decided to play. Hey, that's enough. Unicorn is a spirit card, almost about like doubting what you believe in, if what you are believing in has merit, you know, if, if it's something that you should, like if, if it's too good to be true, seeing is believing, that kind of energy with the unicorn. So what I'm picking up here is like your person might be thinking that this connection, there's something a little bit um, too good to be true about it. <laughs> I hope that makes sense, but it's almost like they either can't believe their luck or they think you're a unicorn, someone very unique. This connection could be very unique for them. Let's look at these cards a little bit closer. I'm gonna look at the scorpion first. Fire. First. Passionate, competitive, tends toward isolation. Passionate and determined creature. Career is very important to them. Oh, that doesn't sound like a Capricorn at all. And as are a few select friends. Sometimes the Scorpion's heat festers and they focus on an unresolved event from the past, usually a situation where they were left feeling burned. The Scorpion card says it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual fiery but fun self. So I love this card for you, um, Capricorn. I feel like something happened in the past either with this person or in love in general maybe you're a little bit um i'm just picturing someone that's really wound up tight someone that's a bit paranoid very nine of wands energy because you've been through something that has made you into this person um you might have to completely cut something off from the past in order to move forward maybe you don't realize that you've been carrying it all this time and Capricorn, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more because the energy can be flipped. I forgot I wanted to look at the unicorn a little bit too. Um, okay. Reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. It's difficult to see, hear, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. We wonder what divinity is. We wonder where intuition comes from and if we can really trust it. Is it just a feeling? The, unico the unicorn card appears and wakes us up to curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It's a card of questioning, exploring, and contemplating the inexplicable. Yeah, it's almost like your person, I wonder if their intuition has been speaking to them about you and they're kind of like thrown off by it. Um, maybe they, question if this connection is meant to be if there's something real about this connection um i'm also getting like they're ignoring their their 
genuine intentions or whatever their intuition is telling them like they're ignoring that side of them so we'll see what comes up so i'm using the wisdom of the oracle to get some insight into your connection so spirit what are the mutual energies between capricorn and this other person what are the mutual energies what's the mutual energy here between capricorn and this other person spirit what are the mutual energies here Oh, we got new life. Very interesting. It's at the bottom, by the book. Okay, so there could be a reconnection or this is a new connection. We'll have to see what the tarot says. So let's get into this Capricorn. Gonna be looking at each of these energies. A little bit closer here your energy your person's energy and what's going on between you now keep in mind these are general love readings so they will not resonate with every capricorn watching just because you're watching this reading does not mean this is your story so just keep that in mind um, not all of the readings will resonate 100 percent i'm reading for a lot of people all right so let's see capricorn Oh my gosh, my dog is annoying me. <laughs> hey, Leon, what are you doing? Did you see that mommy's working? All right, what's the main energy between Capricorn and this other person? What are the energies here in this connection? I don't want to pick a card just yet. What are the energies here between Capricorn and this other person? Mutual energies, please. Okay. Six of Cups came out first so you have some sort of history with this person Capricorn either you know them from the past something you know either they were a past partner or involved in your past in some way or a past life there is history here tell me more Death reverse Scorpio energy. Something's not over. Someone's resisting a change or resisting an ending here. What else? For Capricorn. Oops, I got two. Temperance reversed Sagittarius energy. And Ten of Swords reversed. So I'm getting that there was already some sort of ending here between you. Maybe there was little communication. Maybe something just didn't come together. You guys need to go outside. I'm so sorry, you guys. Quarantine life, right? <laughs> it's a struggle. Um, you could be dealing with Scorpio or Sagittarius, but something already took place here with the Ten of Swords reverse. This is something that, for me as a reader, already happened. Some sort of ending, some sort of cycle that ended here between you. It could be that with the Ten of Swords reverse and the Death card reverse, someone doesn't want this to be completely over. Uh, maybe they are resisting cutting this connection off for good. We'll see when I clarify. So let's look at your energies, Capricorn. Tell me more about Capricorn's energies in this connection spirit. Tell me more about Capricorn's energies, please. Oh, wow, we got the world. I instantly thought of that new life card. So you are ending a cycle and starting something new here. Strength card reversed. Leo energy there. And then the eight of coins reversed. Interesting. This isn't really like you, Capricorn. You're usually very um, steadfast, usually very sure of yourself. Of what you can bring to the table but i feel like there's some doubt here i feel like you're questioning if something is really going to work if you're going to make something happen if this new beginning or new cycle will be what you wanted it to be i feel like instead of taking action you're this four of swords energy here kind of like very pensive thinking about things quiet Tell me about Capricorn's person. 
Tell me about this person that Capricorn is dealing with. Now, just because you're on this side, Capricorn, and your person's on the other, does not mean you cannot flip them. You can flip them if they resonate more. But to avoid confusion, this is you for me. Tell me about Capricorn's person. Nine of Wands reverse. Yeah, see, it's like they look at you as this Nine of Wands energy. And that's what I was picking up earlier. Six of Swords. I feel like your person here, um, either they're the ones that left or they're considering some sort of transition. Maybe there's distance between you, like physical distance between you. Maybe this person's going to come see you. Oh, then I got the Seven of Swords and this one came out with it. So I'm going to take it to Seven of Swords, Three of Wands. I feel like your person's becoming a little bit fearful about maybe missing an opportunity and so they're gonna kind of like be sneaky about something here fool there's that new it's like this is all because someone wants this person wants a new beginning with you yeah like you make them very happy their happiness lies with you at least this person this is how they feel and I feel like in order to get this happiness with you, Capricorn, they have to leave something or travel towards you. And I feel like it's, it's almost like your guard is down for some reason or they think your guard is down. And so they see this as an opportunity. With the three of wands reverse, it's like they no longer want to wait Maybe they've waited too long in their in their mind and like in their eyes, they waited too long. Maybe they missed the boat before and they're scared of doing that again. We'll have to see when I clarify. I feel like even if there was a separation here between you, you both still think about each other or think about the past with each other. I just feel this energy of like something's unresolved. Something hasn't officially been hashed out. Let me put this up here. So let's clarify. Clarifying with the Light Seers Tarot. For Capricorn spirit, help me clarify these energies. For Capricorn, please help me clarify these energies. If this is resonating for you in some way, Capricorn, please leave me a comment and let me know how the reading is resonating for you because I love to see how specifically the readings resonate because sometimes i'm sitting up here and i'm like what is going on <laughs> all right so let's clarify let's clarify these energies here we'll start with the the mutual energies between you now remember these are mutual energies so you're both here tell me about the six of cups what's the six of cups about for capricorn Six of Wands, I want this one too, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like when someone thinks about the past here or whatever happened in the past, someone's thinking if only we had worked harder or if only I would have made more of an effort, we would have been successful. If only this had happened or that had happened, we would have been successful. This could have been a work-related relationship or maybe you work together uh, maybe somebody was really focused on their career success as well. And so something didn't, didn't like, it's almost like um, they know what prevented them from being successful. Temperance card came up out upright. So I feel like they think if only we had more time or something like that, if only, um, or, or almost like if we worked at this again, or if we, invested in this again if we tried again we would be successful this time is what i feel someone here is thinking tell me about this ten of swords reverse what's this ten of swords reversed here 
the moon reversed. Pisces energy, seven of swords reversed. Yes, yeah, somebody got caught doing something here or something came to light and I feel like it caused an ending. Yeah, this is what caused you to be a nine of wands, Capricorn. There you are in my mind. <laughs> You're this person that's kind of like very wary, watchful, not easily, like you don't trust people easily. You've been through a lot. You haven't given up completely but it's left you very guarded. Tell me more about this 10 of swords. There you are. Yeah, I feel like this might be you that whatever found, whatever happened here, you're the one that found out or you're the one that was affected by it the most. And, you know, it's almost like Someone wants to work on this with you. They see success with you. They want to recognize you for the effort that you put in or they want to just, you know. I feel like someone wants, recognizes that they're the ones that maybe had a part to play in why things ended. And I don't think they've completely learned their lesson. I have a seven of swords reverse and then a seven of swords again popped up for your person. Tell me about death reverse. What's the death reverse here? Five of swords. Judgment. Yeah, someone knows. Someone knows what happened. They they look at the past and they realize like what happened with judgment. They want a second chance. Um, they want to make. You know, I feel like this is them right now. Like this is how they look when they're thinking about what happened between you. Like, wow, I really screwed that up or, you know, how am I going to fix this? You know, I don't want this to be over, but at the same time, I know exactly why it's over. Someone was probably deceiving themselves for a long time or didn't want to tell you the truth about how they felt with the Ace of Swords reverse. But I'm picking up like self-deception here um, and, and it caught... It's almost like they didn't want to admit that they felt the same way or that, you know, th this imbalance was their fault. So let's see, what's this world about then for you, Capricorn? Tell me about this world. What's this world about spirit for Capricorn? Wow, look at this. We got death and ace of cups, Scorpio energy with the death card. You are probably dealing with a Scorpio here. I have a scorpion and then death card twice. Um, I feel like you want a new beginning in love, a new cycle in love. You want something new to come in. And I feel like you know that you have to let something go in order for that to happen. I have the death card here with the ace of cups. Um, you want to end a cycle to start a new one here and it's related to love maybe you already have everything else that you need except for love i have the hermit card here again very thoughtful very pensive which for some reason the capricorns i'm talking to you don't normally do this i feel like you've thought about this way more than other things tell me about the strength card reverse why is strength card reverse here? Why is strength reverse? Hierophant reverse. Taurus energy. I'm not really seeing this as a broken commitment or a broken contract. What I'm seeing here, it's almost like you've held back from going after what you wanted because you wonder what people would say. I feel like that has kept you from doing something. You wonder what someone else is going to think of you. You wonder what society would say. This would be like a, uh, you rebelling against your own nature. Tell me about strength card reverse. Yeah, and I feel like this has to do about saying, like speaking up or moving forward towards something here with the eight of wands. It's like you've kept yourself from opening the door. 
And I feel like opening this door would just move things along at like a rapid pace here. Maybe it's because of a lack of courage or again, um, I feel like this is something that people aren't expecting from you. And that is holding you back. So why is the eight of coin reversed? Why is the eight of coin reversed? Eight of swords reversed. Nine of pentacles. That's you. Seven of pentacles. I feel like for a lot of you, this is financial or career related because I have a lot of pentacles here. But what I'm picking up, it's it's almost like you have been fearful about something, about your stability, about your the time or effort you, you invest in things, uh, about you've been thinking about being single, having it all except for love, et cetera, et cetera. And I feel like this worry, this, this, it's like you put yourself in a trap. You trapped yourself by your own goals or your own um, standards or like your own expectations. I'm also picking up here. It's like you you're ready to get out there and and see what you can invest in. Maybe things haven't worked out in love. Maybe things haven't worked out with this, this person. Uh, maybe you haven't been happy in your career or something like that. And it's like now you're ready for something new. I'm just picking that up. You're breaking free of the 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 shackles that you put on yourself. Because something hasn't worked. The Ace of Wands reversed. Something hasn't worked. And this is related to the past. Maybe you think that things haven't worked out because you haven't taken that first step. Let's see. Tell me about this person. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? Wow, the wheel. The wheel on your person's side and the world on yours. Interesting. Your person is going through a big change in their life. They're, the wheel is turning for them or they have decided to turn this wheel in their favor but this is more like divine timing happening for your person it's almost like it's the right time for them to make some sort of a move here something that they haven't moved on before possibly due to a commitment or finances or career they haven't moved on this before but with the four of swords reversed they're getting ready to get up and move they have the courage now to go after something. Yeah, possibly to make an offer with you here with the Knight of Pentacles. Very slow, this person. It's taken them a long time to do this. Tell me about the Nine of Wands reverse. What's the Nine of Wands reverse? Yeah, this is... Um, they. It's almost like they were thinking, I need to just give Capricorn some time. Or more time is needed for me to get this get break through to this shell and overcome the conflict between us to find a common ground compromise no longer be fighting with each other yeah now is the right time this is what this person is saying this is my shot I've been stuck for a long time I haven't been wanting to let go of something or sacrifice because I've been lying to myself about how I feel or about my 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 role in this connection, whatever happened in the past here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What's the Seven of Swords about? Nope. Ten of Swords reverse. What's the Seven of Swords about? I feel like this person wants to ask for forgiveness and like move on from what happened between oh i have to move on from what happened between you yeah i have the six of cups knight of cups reverse i feel like um 
they might be a little sneaky about what they say. It's almost like they want to say exactly what they need to say in order to get this apology to, to in order for you to, to pay attention to this apology or to pay attention to them um, in order to move on. They're going to talk to you about the past, about what happened. I don't know if they're going to confess like I screwed up or what, but I feel like whatever this is, they haven't told you this before. So what's the potential outcome here, Spirit? For Capricorn and this person. Potential outcome here. For Capricorn and this person. What's the potential outcome here? Let's see. Potential outcome here. For Capricorn and this person. We got five of wands reversed again. Seven of wands reversed again. Oh, not again, but I feel like that's like the same nine of wands energy so when i saw it i thought of that potential outcome between capricorn and this person spirit let's just you have empress reverse king of pentacles reverse interesting queen of pentacles a third person this could also be that your person doesn't have much to give you right now. You, I feel, are this queen of pentacles. You're doing very well. And this person is, they might not have that much to offer you. If this ace of pentacles reverses theirs, they might not have money or stability. I feel like with this empress reversed here, um, it's almost like there's somebody either someone interfering or your own energy is interfering here. I feel like you're not happy with this person. If this person does come to you to ask for a chance, I, I feel like you're probably going to be like, I don't want to, I don't want to invest in that again. Let me get one more. Could also be this is some sort of interference. Emperor's reverse to me is very similar to the Queen of Wands reverse. They tend to be interferences, like a parent, friend, a past partner, current partner. Tell me more about what's the potential outcome here, Spirit, for Capricorn and this person. A choice. Someone's going to need to choose a path. I think this is you, Capricorn. I feel like the decision will be yours. And whatever decision you make, you're thinking about success. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, it's like, it's a decision you're going to make that's very, again, with the, this is you, the four of swords at the bottom, very pensive and thoughtful. Yeah, this is you. You're going to be thinking very clearly about what decision you want to make. You're not just going to make a decision without, it's almost like you're taking your emotions out of the decision making on purpose. Yeah, and you will make a decision. You will choose. I feel like this is the person that's returning to you. You're going to make a decision about them. I feel like this is like a story. Because, and, and when they come to you, they're not going to tell you the whole truth. That's that Seven of Swords. Um, they might tell you the truth, enough of the truth that you need to hear. Yeah, look at this. I feel like this will eventually lead to a new beginning here. A long-term commitment. and But I don't know if it's because you have chosen this particular person or it's because you saw right through the lies and decided to go after something else here. Yeah, look at this. This is a decision that you make. Wow. I feel like you're this emperor. Enough courage and control over your emotions, your expectations, letting things happen as they should making a wise decision here is going to lead to an opportunity this emperor could also be your person maybe they've changed maybe they're coming in wanting to really restabilize the situation who is this emperor i'm going to put this out here so i can remember who is this emperor and what are they doing are they the ones that you're having this new cycle with i feel like no matter 
who comes into your life, no matter if it's this past person or someone new, you're going to get the world that you desire. Like, you're going to be okay. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Please consider liking the video and subscribing if you enjoy my readings. And hopefully I'll see you all in a different video. Take care.